Death Grips. The Money Store. Get, 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 blood rush to my head, they hot lock popping off the fucking block, not clocking, wristlet, watch, been top off. It's total party music for the party I don't want to be at. <laughs> it feels like I'm at a greasy fucking just drugged in, dancing with like just shitty chicks who, yeah, are just fucked on like MDMA. Yeah. It's like a step higher than dubstep. I like it. I like it. It's catchy, but I just... I feel like a lot of the electronic music these days is just getting to the point where we're just discovering, like, little fucking sounds that just please the human ear and, like, you just can't be... You can't help but just kind of like it. And it just, like, just kind of... It's like it sneaks into your veins, and it and they just like jacks off in your veins and doesn't clean up and then just leaves and you wake up and you're ashamed. <laughs> so, but I, I don't know. See, but I like it. See what I'm saying? I don't know. I have no what I'm saying. What do I have to say about Death Grips? Uh, well, at least the money store. I... I like that it's not like just your typical rhymes for the most part as far as hip-hop goes, but it still seems to me like it's still the same typical hip-hop subject matter. And they're just, you just like kind of, you're just boasting relentlessly. I just, I don't, I don't get what it all means. It's, some of it is really fucking lost on me. And, uh, fuck. Like, I get that there's, there's probably a lot to it, but I just, I want to know, like, well, I don't want to know, that's the thing. It doesn't leave me, me really interested to fucking find out more. It's just like, yeah, whatever, I'll like listen to this when I'm fucked up. It's such a long way. Yeah. Lost Boys, I really fucking love the bass in that song. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I just need to go to like fucking Shambhala and just get fucked. But no. No, that the bass in that song is really good. I feel like the bass, the bass is really fucking sweet. That can't be understated. I don't feel this is particularly genius, but I don't know, I can see, I can definitely see the stimulating part of it. At the same time, the music just seems like it's for like, just this ADD generation of kids who, they just need like, I don't know, it's just like this just super saturated like samples and bass and just like rap in your face. Fuck that rhymed. Fuck my credibility. Rhyming sucks. Ah but I don't know. I can see the merit, I can definitely see the merit, but fuck, I don't think it's particularly good music. <laughs> Blackjack. Uh, Blackjack. Uh. Well, that song it has a theme, which is cool. Songs with themes are cool. It had a it had a cool bass at the beginning and the end. I really don't know what the fuck to say about that song. It, I don't know. Right on. Good for you guys, I guess. Hustle bones coming out my mouth. I know. I'm not gonna fucking lie and pretend that I know what that means. I've read the lyrics of the song. I don't fucking get it. It's lost on me. I'm just zero meta, zero even layer of understanding. No idea. Fuck me. 
I like the bass. I don't know. 6.5 out of 10 song. If I had to rate that song, which we don't do. We don't rate songs, we rate albums. <laughs> I've seen footage, woo-wee. When I first heard that song, it kind of reminded me of uh, Jump Around, House of Pain. I don't know why. I think it might be like just something of like the vocal delivery along with the kind of like dancey beat. I don't know, for, for a while there, it, it gave me a throwback. Like this kind of nostalgia lick that just took me on an adventure. But, uh, I don't know, after a, after a second listen and just like viewing kind of the lyrical content, it knocked it down like a step for me. And yeah, I definitely don't have hope for this new like uprising of kind of like 90s hip hop. Even not like House of Pain was a great example, but you know, it is just reminiscent of that kind of pretty fucking good era in my opinion. Anyway, that was a good song and one of the highlights for me. For your sheer. So you really wanna know double 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 So you really wanna know how freaking double double Felix Decent song, didn't really blow me away or anything. It's just, I don't know. All these samples has just been fucking done to death. And I do like, uh, there's a point there though where just like, you're like, sample, 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 and you just kind of shut your brain off and then just like changes up just a little bit and you're like, woo! And, and then it comes right back into the samples. But you gotta give him a fucking A for fucking keeping you in it there, bud. No. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, I like that they switch it up from time to time, and yeah, it just, it just keeps it, like, somewhat fresh, even though, like, oh, there's just so much electronic music that you just, you just barely can even avo avoid it. It's just saturating the air waves. Oh. System blower. System blower. System blower. System blower. System blower. Wow. Okay. System blower. The bass in that song is fucking nuts. I guess that's pretty much to be said about the whole Money Store record. But. Actually, no. Before I get into the butts, a good thing about it, maybe is that it's like a mix between fucking like hard style and like dub so it's just like it's like dirty just it's just fucking crazy crazy bass the thing i don't like is that you can just you can just that's the foothold for your whole fucking song like there's no like high range in that song it's just like i don't like that these uh, like, it, I'm fucking 20, I'm like, these days, oh my god, here we go. Oh, back in the day, back in the 90s when I didn't know what fucking music was. Anyway, no. You can just plant a whole song just on, like, some catchy bass. Just, that's, that's totally fucked. I think, I think music needs more than that. Yeah, the cage. Uh, I really like that kind of like synthy kind of like key kind of rhythm to it. Uh, no, yeah, I don't know. It's catchy, but after a while, it it kind of wears on you. But if you're, if you're fucked up, oh man, the song's for you. You'll just you'll just fucking gooch out on it all day, but. Woo! The cage, yeah! 25A, 12 gauge, Broke Boy! 25A, 12 gauge, Broke Boy! Well, that song had my much needed electronic voice. I don't know what the. I don't know if I already went over this, but wow. I don't get what the fuck that's about. That's like electronic voice thing that's in all it's all sorts of fucking music. It's like 
I don't know. A bad impression, naturally, but kind of catchy, kind of catchy, cool. Um, I don't know. That song's way more listenable on speakers, naturally. I had to take a listen in headphones, and uh, sounded really cluttered, surprisingly, because headphones are more spatial. But let's not get into the fucking politics of sound bullshit. I don't know. Sometimes it just seems like there's just gratuitous sampling. Just It just doesn't really make sense. At times it's not even musical. I, I'm, it's still kind of catchy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's still catchy. Out. Fuck that! No! Fuck that! I don't know what the fuck that song means. Call me retarded. That's fine. But you're a dick. Retards are people too. Ah. Bitch. Please. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The first time I listened to this, I was like, I'm like, what's up with this song? Like, is it some irony kind of thing? And at that exact moment, I realized it's just kind of one of those songs that plays at just the very end of the night, and you're dancing in the club with some just questionable lady, and yeah, you're just grinding, and then, yeah, you don't really know whether to tag along or to split ways. Yeah, anyway, that, this song is that night. Hacker, yeah, Hacker has this crazy kind of vibe. It's almost 80s. It's totally reminiscent of Mastercraft. Like, super... That's, like, a super Mastercraft song. I think you're fucked if you can't recognize that. But it's really dancey, and it's it's really great. And those kind of throwback songs, for me, are the highlight of the, al of the album. Overall, like, the first impression of the record, I think, is really great. It's it's somewhat fresh, even though it's still, like, electronic and rap, which is just what you're getting thrown in your face all day, every day. Considering that's the kind of music it is, I think it's very fresh. And, um... I, I like that... I like that. It's not just like, oh yeah, throw your hands in the air, fucking dance, yeah, 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 and just bullshit. Not sad about that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, I think it's good as long as electronic music goes. But I can I can see why the why they were like why they signed a major label. This album this is a good album. This is a good album. It's not great. It's not like super catchy or anything, but it, it definitely makes you want to party. It definitely invokes a good time. I'd give it a solid seven out of ten. <laughs>